comes down to um, trigger point work, the more precision you have, because look, we're going after something so small here. You need something precision. If you're using a blunt object, your body is going to react in a blunt way, right? We need to get past this fascial layer. So this is a thin layer of fascia. Let's call it that. But this goes all the way around the muscle. You have to make it past this to get to that. Our intention is this. But if you're using a massively big area, your body's going to show a massive big area. So it's more likely going to protect fascially. Does that make sense? Because it's more of a broad area. Does that make sense? Kate is pushing it together. <laughs> there you go, baby. But that's, that's exactly what you want to start understanding. Like, there's a recipe to self-care. You don't want to just do everything willy-nilly. It's all about sequencing what happens. There's a sequence of events that needs to happen. C clearly, for your body to understand something, you have to clear up one area to the next to the next, fascially. One area to the next to the next, trigger point. Then you have to get it to communicate, stretching. That's all it takes. If you guys wrote that down, that'd be bonus. But you guys can't. <laughs> all right. So let's get started. Major components of trigger point work. We're going to start off with the feet. Like I had a, a sequence of events that happened with my last slides. My last slides, I had something wrong on the bottom, uh, on the top, something right on the bottom, right? On these ones, I'm now just breaking down different trigger points because we can go at this all day. There's many different muscles and every muscle gives you a different referral pattern. So I'm showing you major referral patterns. That's here with the trigger point works. Dwayne, where was your cramp? Inside adductor. What were you, what were you doing? Where? Where? Okay. And it didn't well, my question is, were you in that exact position right there? You see how your foot's... But where was your foot pointed, I'm asking? Because you said you picked up your foot. I want to know what muscle well, tissue... Okay. There. Stop. All right. That's what happened. And this locked up. Okay. I'm going to get back to you when we get to the hip. I just use you as my landmark. Sorry. Um, when we get to the hip, I'm going to tell you what's going on there. Okay? So with trigger points, many different muscles in our body is going to refer differently. So these muscle fibers ideally and I say this because some majority of these are not always set in stone, you'll get a, uh, a referral pa pain pattern in the foot. Outside, uh, inside the foot, outside the foot. You see how it all goes through heel pain, toe pain. You see how it could vary in many different places? See that? This is a really big, this one everyone's going to have um, because everyone here has their glutes off. They're everyone. Yes, I got it right. Um, so this is one of the major components that will lock up in that way and not function properly. So this one is going to be very, very tender. So everyone, take a position like Kate before I show you how to use the ball. Can you turn for me, darling? Because you're doing it absolutely perfect. So what Kate's doing is searching for any one of those muscle fibers with her fingers. Did anyone find anything? Yeah. How do we know we found it? Oh, you'll know. <laughs> it's very, very tender, and it's going to spark. And stop. Reason why I did this at front with your fingers is because it's a lot harder to find it because your fingers feel so much, and then you're looking for a specific thing. I want you guys to eliminate the concept of this muscle fiber gives me this pain. That's a common mistake because your body's going to look for that muscle fiber. What I want you guys to do is think general. I want you now 
to push in that general area, right underneath your big toe, push in until you start to feel a bone. So push straight in, in a straight manner, and then you're gonna feel it like that. Underneath the big toe. So I'm going to show you guys. So 